In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to create a bio link website on Canva for real estate agents. This is a fabulous way to centralize all of your resources in one single location so that your Instagram audience and your TikTok audience is able to easily tap into your resources of ecosystems and potentially become your next client. So if you're ready, be sure to like, comment and subscribe because you know I got the vibes. Let go. All right, here we are at the Canva home page and canva does have some bio link website templates available and i'm going to show you how you can customize one of these templates to match the feel and look of your personal brand now you can use whatever you want here but in this case today i'm going to choose this one here if you can see that one this is the cream and brown simple and we're just going to hit customize this template now, first things first, I want to make sure that I am in the proper brand kit. Yes, we are. And now I'm going to just go in and start to change the colors around here. So I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to make sure I choose this right color here. Then I'm just going to change this tone here to this color. I already like the look and feel of this. Excuse my lights going in and out. I think there is a winter storm happening. Anyways, this icon here, I'm going to change it to this beige color here. And if you see at the bottom here, it says change all from this color to that color. I'm going to change all so that it changes everything over here. So you don't have to individually change the colors of each icon for social media. Now I'm going to actually delete this whole section here because I'm going to bring in another frame. So going to elements, we're going to go into frames here. And this is where you're going to put in your photo. Okay, your beautiful face. Put your face here. Let me grab my face. Um, let's use this one. All right. If you want to learn how to make your profile picture look like that, I do have a tutorial. So check it out in the cards above. Okay, so now we have your face there. I'm actually going to move these icons here, you know, put your name. That's important. Okay. Let me just zoom in on here. I should spell my name correctly. I'm actually going to use two different fonts for this. So I'm just going to change this to my last name. I should spell my last name, right? Okay. I'm going to change it to this color that color I'm going to use playlist script I'm actually gonna make this one all uppercase and I'm gonna ho hollow it out like that okay and this is not the right font I want extra bold there we go and I'm just gonna size this up so it matches and now I'm going to group this together I'm gonna group up here so now it's one solid unit okay so let me just make that a little bit smaller here move that up top like that okay now i am going to move this section up here i am going to delete this section here and instead we are going to put some buyer and seller guides. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna go into elements. We're gonna go in to frames here and I'm gonna pick up this iPad one because it's cool and I like it. So we're gonna just do that. And I'm going to duplicate that because I have a buyer's guide and a seller's guide. I should have kept those texts there. So I'm just gonna press T on my keyboard. Buyer's guide. I'm gonna duplicate this one and oops sellers guide now i'm just gonna drag in photos that i have here of my buyer's guide buyer here and then i think i have my seller's guide here so in this case all you have to do if you don't have your buyer or seller guide cover photos all you have to do is just upload them in to canvas so just again go up to your uploads tab here upload image or video from your desktop now that we have that there i'm going to group that text together 
control or command G on your keyboard for a keyboard shortcut. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is change over all of the text here. And then after I'm done that, I'm going to show you guys how to properly link your websites to these elements here. So let me go ahead and do that. We're going to speed up the video here. All right, now at this point, I'm gonna make sure that every piece is grouped together. Now with this specific template, they have their, I guess, rectangles overlapped on each other. So you just wanna make sure you are selecting the correct one. So that's grouped together and that's grouped together. Okay, so now we're gonna paste in the links. And in this case, I have my link tree already made. So I know it's kind of counterintuitive. I'm showing you how to make a bio link website, which is like this, but I have my links already here. So I'm just going to copy the links here into my Canva design here. So I'm just going to take the link here, copy link address, and I'm going to click on this square and we are going to go up to the top right corner, hit that link, and we are going to paste that in here. And I am going to use a Calendly link call. So if you guys are not familiar with Calendly, this is basically where people can uh, book into your calendar. And in this case, I have it linked to Zoom so they can book into my calendar and schedule a Zoom call. So I have that here. I have a Chrome extension here. Let me see here. I do have mine on here. So let's say this was on, but it's off right now. So I have to make sure it's on. So let's go to invent types and let me turn this on for the sake of this video. So I'm just going to copy this link here again. If you don't know how to use this, uh, just Google it. It's I recommend it. It's really easy to use. So I'm going to go into my I'm going to close this out. I'm going to click on that box again and I'm going to paste in that calendar link and then I'm going to go into my link tree <laughs> and then I'm going to copy this link here for the market update stats for my Kiwi core and again just paste in that website so again this is completely up to you you put whatever links and resources that you have and again I'm going to copy over my buyer's guide I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to go back here. Oop, oh, I opened it. Copy link address. Paste that here. And if you're curious, this is what that looks like on my KV Core website. Okay, so that was my seller's guide. Okay, so we have all of this linked here. And now we're going to add links to our social accounts i don't have do it there so i'm going to put youtube instead here so i'm going to go to my elements I'm going to look up youtube and let's go ahead and uh, we'll just use the first one here and with this one we can change out the color so it matches the brand okay let me see here make sure that make this one a little bigger Okay, now let's go in, add your links. I don't think this, I think this is my, hold on. Yes, that is my current Instagram. Go back to my, okay, yep, grab that one. Boop, 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 boop. Paste that in. Here is my real estate channel, paste that in. And now for this one, email. So this is actually really fun to do and it's simple to do. So with Canva, click on the element, go up to the link and all you have to do is just put in your email address and it will populate for you. 
So we do that, larissa.noon at experience.com, enter, link added up here. And if we take a look, it says mail to your email address. And that's exactly what you wanna see because when you do click on this link, it will actually open up your preferred um, mail browser, if you will. And I'll show you exactly what everything looks like at the end of this tutorial. So the last thing I'm gonna add in here, if you do have a YouTube channel, what I do recommend is putting in a video here, embedding a video. So in this case, I'm gonna go and grab this video here. I'm gonna copy the link. Now there are three ways you can embed a YouTube video into a canva design the first one is really easy and you all you have to do is just command or control v and that will paste in your video but if you're having troubles with troubleshooting another technique you could use is the backslash key which is the magic search so that is the key with the question mark on it and if you just look up embed here you paste in the link and it should also embed your video if that doesn't work you can go to the app section here and we can look for youtube or you can search here at the canva apps to up top there and again just paste in your youtube link and again it should populate your video so those are three ways to embed youtube videos into a canva design just in case you're having a little bit of trouble now this is pretty much the entire site here and i know what you're thinking isn't a biolink website vertical for mobile yes you are correct so if we take a look up here there is a preview tab if we click on that give it a second canva is going to populate what this is going to look like on the front facing user end so it's going to give you an idea of what this is going to look like on an actual website so right now it is in a desktop version okay so if we click up here, we'll see there's this desktop icon and this mobile icon. If we click on mobile, it's going to do that. So that's why um, we created basically the uh, from left to right. So it's gonna, gonna show things from left to right. What I've noticed with Canva websites, it will show things from left to right. So it's gonna show things this way first and then it's gonna add this last. Okay, so let's take a look at it one more time. And with this, you can actually test out from here if your links work. So let's just click this one. It's gonna open up my website here. Perfect. And book a call. Yes, that works. Newsletter. Yes, that works. Buyer's guide. Yes, that works. Seller's guide. Mm-hmm. And we'll just do another quality check here for Instagram. There we go, Facebook page, there we go, YouTube. And if I click this, this is actually going to pop up my, it's gonna pop me out of here. And yeah, it's gonna show me this. Okay, now we're gonna go back into here and this is pretty much done. But if you wanna make it a little bit more fancy, just a little bit more fancy, what we can do is add a photo in the background, which I recommend to do. Now, you can add a video into your background per se. So let's say, but the only caveat with this is that it will only display a video if you are in the desktop version, okay? So I know it is displaying on the preview, but trust me, when you push this, push this out as a Canvas site, it will not work as a video on mobile. It will only work on desktop. So in this case, what I recommend you to do is to just use a photo. But like I said, if you want it to be fancy, you can put the video in. It's up to you. You have the designing power. Okay, let me go into my projects here and let me find my photo getting graphics. And I'm just gonna put that in there. And then again, I'm gonna turn down the transparency probably around 25 here. And if we take a look at the preview, again, we are in the desktop version. Now we are in the mobile version. Okay, so 
and how to actually push this out as a website. All right, if we take a quick look here at canva.com slash website builder, we can see all of the amazing features of Canva websites. But what I wanna bring your attention to is at the bottom. So with Canva sites, you can use it for both the free version and pro version of Canva. So when you use the free version of a Canva site, you get one Canva domain, which is going to be something under your chosen username slash or dot canva dot site. So in this case, you get a free domain and then five websites you can create and attach to that domain, okay? Now, if you do upgrade to Canva Pro, you now have the ability to purchase a domain through Canva and you'll have to renew that uh, subscription to that domain annually. Or if you do have your own domain, you can use that with Canva. Now, to be honest, I haven't used any of those options. I prefer just using the free version of the Canvas site, which I'm going to show you right now. All right, now to use this, what we want to do is go up to the publish website, okay? So I've moved my bubble head up to the side so we can see what's going on here. So again, you can publish this to a free domain. You can purchase a domain through Canva or use your existing domain. Now these two, again, are only available if you have the pro version of Canva. So if you are using just the free version, you probably won't see those two options. Or and you might, but you will see it with a Canva crown. Okay, so in this case, we are gonna do this without navigation. Um, you can turn it on, but we don't need that. It's not for this kind of design here. So we're gonna hit continue. Now I have created my uh, Canva site with this username here, Larissa Nguyen Wolfpack. You know, because I'm part of the Wolfpack here at EXP Realty. Now, this is where we want to bring our attention to. So here we can, let's see, click this button. So in this case, we're using that domain and this is gonna be my realtor links. So that's gonna be the back splash. And then I'm going to hit this pencil button here. And this is basically what you're seeing in these tabs here. So if you see here, that's what they're referring to. So that the icon and the text here. So I would say, put your name, um, realtor links. And then if we click on this button here, we can change uh, the icon. So you can upload another image, but in this case, it's just pulling my uh, logos from the logo section in the brand kit. So I'm just gonna use that. You can add in a web description if you'd like. And in this case, we don't need any of these turned on at all. So I'm just gonna hit publish. Okay, and now Canva is going to do its thing. Now at this point, we can just open this up and this is what it will look like. Okay, now again, you can go ahead and quality check and click through everything and see if it's working. And you can again, save this link to your Instagram or your TikTok. But in this case, I'm going to copy this link so that I can view it in my phone. So let me go ahead and paste that into my phone here. All right, so take that link. We're gonna paste it into our phone here. And as you can see, it pulls it up just like that, okay. And again, if you can quality check this, again, just play around, make sure everything is working. And again, let's see if we open this, it's gonna open up my Instagram just like that. And that is pretty much your link, bio link website done, completely branded to your personal brand. Now that you know how to create this amazing bio link website, did you know that on Instagram, you can also create custom link stickers. And I show you how to do that in Canva to help you convert your audience better and increase engagement. So if you're ready, three, two, one, click.